what's going on guys this is all day dfs checking back in with y'all hope y'all guys are having a great saturday let's get that cash let's cash in great news from yesterday all of my hits all of my picks hit except for the shy alexander shy alexander he let us down and i'm sorry guys for everybody who had him on their lines i only put him on one line so uh, i guess i was a little bit lucky that i didn't put him on all my lines i kind of learned from that tobias uh, harris the other night and if you know, I didn't put him on all my lines because if you do, unless you flex it, you're gonna he's gonna ruin all your lines. But anyways, all all my other picks hit, so it was a great day yesterday. A lot of our guys in the chat uh, cashed in. I seen people cashing in all throughout Twitter, so it was just a good day overall for the Price Pick family. So awesome! Hopefully, we have another day like that just today, another day like that. So let's get into it. My first pick on the board is Jamal Murray. You know, as we know, Jamal's just been killing it. They had him at 38 earlier when I started to do my research. They already bumped him up one point. If you feel confident in him like I do, get him now because he'll probably be 40 here in a little bit. They'll probably bump him up again. So the reason I like him is um, obviously he's been on tear. Anybody who follows basketball knows that he's been killing it. But um, the, the matchup is a good one. OKC is 21st ranked versus his position. Um, he's had over 39 in his last five games, so he's 5 for 5. His lowest score was a 45. So, I mean, again, he's been killing it. And in his last game versus OKC, he had a 40. So everything, everything, he's 100%. His last game, he was over versus that team. So everything points to the over. And I'm going to keep on riding Jamal Murray until he comes back down. And hopefully he does. And hopefully he keeps balling out like he's doing. So I see I see Jamal Murray going over. Uh, there could be a little, uh, you know, it could be a blowout. So if you like, just play him in the first half. But I've seen sometimes that Jamal Murray is more of a second half player. So I'm going to go ahead and play him in the, in the full game. And hopefully the game stays close. So Jamal Murray's my first pick. Next on the board, I got Carl Anthony Towns. Let's see where is he at? So Carl Anthony Towns, when I started doing my research, they had him at 48. He's at 51 now. So guys, y'all might not like this pick um, as much as I do now because they bumped him up three points. I still think he can get the over. It looks like he's playing minutes. Uh, he's going to be playing a lot of minutes with this new coach. Um, he his, uh, he had 31, but that's because he was in foul trouble. And then the other one, I think he had like 37 with the new coach. So I think he's going to have the minutes. Uh, it's a great matchup against Washington. Who, who in Washington can guard this guy? They're 27th ranked versus centers. Um, he's gone over 48 three out of his last five. And, his last, and he has gone over 48 um, his last three times versus the Wizards. So three out of his last five, 48. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's over 51. Let me double check for y'all guys. Um, again, I was at the 48 number. So, okay, he's gone over. Yeah, he's gone over 48. He's still gone over. Uh, or I'm sorry, he's gone over 51 three out of his last five. So it was still, it's the same thing. He's gone over 51 three out of his last five. Um, so when you throw in the matchup, I think he's gonna get there. I think he's gonna go over it. And like I said, his his last three games versus the Wizards. Let's see, his last three games versus the Wizards, he has a 49, a 70, and a 53. So. He's had pretty good games against them. So I like Carl Anthony Towns today. Again, if you feel kind of iffy because they bumped him up to 51. All this research was based on 48. But as you can see, his three out of his last five, he still went over 48. But if you feel that that's too high, then you might want to fade him. Uh, next on the board, um, today I didn't have as much time to research. So I didn't get enough enough time to research like all the role players. So I'm going with some stars today. Um, next on the board, I got Joker. Nikola Joker. So he's at 56. Um, he's gone over that four out of his last five. He's gone over 56, four out of his last five. It's a good matchup. They're 20th ranked versus the center. So I could see him getting there. Again, um, there's a potential of a blowout. So you might want to play him first half over. But if this game stays close, I see him going over 56 easy. Um, so I like him for the over on 56. And next, I got another star. I got Joel Embiid. So Joel Embiid is at 56.5. The reason I like Joel Embiid, I mean, first of all, he's Joel Embiid, so, I mean, but the reason I like Joel Embiid is because um, when Harris is off the court, Tobias Harris is not playing, he has 40% usage. That's like, that's crazy. I mean, you like a player that has, you know, 28, 29, 30 in the 30s is, is awesome. He has 40 usage when, um, when, jo uh, when Tobias Harris is off the court. So I think he can get that 56 and a half. He's probably going to be motivated to go up against Jared Allen, Jared Allen who's been killing it lately. He's probably going to want to show him who's the number one center in the league. So I really like I really like Joel Embiid over 56 and a half. Again, if the game stays close, so hopefully without Tobias Harris, the game will stay close. And I think I think Joel is going to smash. I think he's going to have a good game. So that's that's one I like. Again, 
guys, these are my picks. These are, when I say locks, they're my locks. This is what I like. Obviously, I'm not a psychic. There's no guarantees. Like, again, yesterday I hit every single pick except one, but I know that one probably hurt a couple people and they might have lost or whatever. So, you know, these, these are something that I can, you know, try to help y'all guys. Like, if uh, y'all have two or three picks and you're trying to finish out a line, you're looking for some other picks or somebody that you didn't think of, this is for that. So hopefully they can help you. So I like Joel Embiid on the over today. Next on my list, I got um, Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. Okay, Jordan Clarkson's at 27. The reason I like Jordan Clarkson is because there's no Mike Conley today. So he should play some more minutes. He should get a usage bump when he plays, you know, 28 to 32 minutes. Uh, he usually goes over 27. So that's, that's really all the... I don't have too much research on it. I just like the matchup. The Magic, he's Magic or 27 Frank versus uh, his position, like combo guards, 27 Frank. So it's a really good matchup. No Mike Conley. So I see him getting more minutes, more usage. So I really like the over on Jordan Clarkson today. Next I have, uh, so that's five already, I think. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's five. But I got an extra one for y'all today. I like Anthony Edwards over. Anthony Edwards is at 31. Um, Beasley's not playing today, so I like that. I think he can get over 31. I think he's going to have a big usage bump. He's going to have more minutes. He's going to be shooting it more. He's going to be more involved. So I like him for the over on 31. I also like him for um, over on points and uh, assist. I think he's going to be having the ball in his hands more. Um, so I like him to get over 18 and a half points. And I like him to get over three and a half assists. I, I can see him getting four to five assists. Um, again, so I like him on all three of those. I don't know which one y'all guys like out of that. Maybe you feel confident more on, on the points or on the assist or just over the whole game. I think the Washington game is supposed to be a close game. Let's see. Yeah, so this is a well, Washington's favored by four. So hopefully it stays close. And. Um, you know, I, I see him being able to get score more points. I see him being able to score, you know, 18, 20 points, four assists, and going over the going over the full game total as well. So whichever y'all like out of those three, I kind of did a single stat, um, a couple single stats with him in a full game. I like him for everything. And the last one that I have for you today, um, I didn't really get into too too many single stats today, but the last one I like, or the last person I have is like I like Ricky Rubio over 26. Again, there's no Beasley, so he's gonna see a usage bump as well. So I think he's going to get there over 26. Washington's a fast-paced team. They're the fastest-paced team in the league. So I see him getting over 26. And I see I also see him going over on assist. I think he's at 6.5. Yeah, so I see, able to, I see him going over 6.5 assists. I think he had 10 assists his last game. So I really see him being able to go over 6.5 assists. So guys, that's all I got for you. Again, sorry, it's a, a short and sweet video. I didn't get to do all the research that I do like during the week. I work heavy on the weekends. I'm a DJ. I run a club, so I'm not. I don't have as much time as I do during the week. But um, these were five picks and a little extra for you today. So hopefully these are able to help y'all guys finish out your lines, help y'all guys cash in. Let me know down below, especially today. Let me know down below who y'all guys like, who do y'all guys have, um, anybody that I missed, any single stats that you think is just popping out at you that you think is a is an easy lock. Let me know down below. I hope y'all guys cash in. Don't forget to um, hit the link on the Discord server. Join our Discord server. We have a community in there. That's We have a room, chat room, just for prize picks, and we share our picks. We share our strategy. Um, go in there and, 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 you know, chat it up with us. Let, let us know who you like. Maybe we'll, we'll be able to give you some guys that, that you didn't think of or some stats that you didn't think of. So go ahead and join our Discord. Also, um, just like, share, subscribe on the video. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you can uh, be alerted when these videos drop. And, guys, I hope y'all guys cash in. I'll try to check back in with y'all with the After Dark Edition tonight. See y'all guys.